The national conversation is dominated by immigration. We're going to get into that tonight. Immigration is also likely to come up tomorrow when President Trump makes a stop in Duluth. Carrie Levin's Adrian Broaddus spoke with two Trump supporters who hope to learn more about the president's plan tomorrow. President Trump is scheduled to stop in Duluth Wednesday for a campaign style rally from Iowa to Minnesota. Some will skip work to see him. When we see a rally or something like that that we'd all like to attend, we take a vacation day from work <laughs> and, and we meet up front row Joes. Front row Joes. They call themselves front row Joes. The group together combined, we've been to over 100 rallies. They often camp out for hours, sometimes days ahead of a presidential appearance. Minnesotan Randall Tom this will be my 33rd rally. and his buddy Austin Bayless made a pit stop to chat with us as they traveled from Iowa to Duluth ahead of tomorrow's rally. Austin is from Iowa. Immigration is one of the biggest issues facing the U.S. right now. Randall and Austin want to hear more from President Trump on the topic. Tuesday, the president tweeted, Democrats are the problem. They don't care about crime and want illegal immigrants, no matter how bad they may be, to pour into and infest our country, like MS-13. They can't win on their terrible policies, so they view them as potential voters. Now that the Trump administration is actually enforcing that, the policy that's on the books, people are squealing about it. We'll take the policy out the books. What do you think of the president calling or saying the immigrants will infest our country? It's one of those things in my opinion that we're a country of laws. We need to be a country of laws. This is something that it's not one person's responsibility. This has been on multiple presidential uh, legislators, and I really hope that this is something that, you know, we see these kids and we definitely feel bad. Nobody likes to see kids being separated. Uh, it, it's one of those things that, to me, if somebody goes to jail, they leave their kids, and they could be a United States citizen, and nobody's complaining. Uh, Trump will be working on today with the uh, Congress and senators, that, you know, as part of that new immigration thought. And like I said, some of it I'm probably not going to like, some of it I'm going to like a lot, but you know what? We got to do something. Doing nothing isn't going to do anything for our country. It isn't going to, uh, we need to come up with an actionable plan and a good plan. And I have faith that Trump is going to do that for us. No plan is going to make all of us happy, and no plan is going to make all of us mad. So what it sounds like is they're down for a little bit of change in the immigration policy, as President Trump has said long ago, but they're looking to see what's in these bills, too. I hear we're, we're actually going to send Adrian up to Duluth mm -hmm. to ask the president if he can get us a better FaceTime connection. <laughs> can, we get, can we get a better FaceTime connection, Mr. Right? President? Mr. President, can you do something about that? I mean, little, I think that's something we neutrality. can all, it, it would just make America great again. It's net neutrality. It's right saying. there. It's already hit us. <laughs> we want to know what you think, though, about the president, about the immigration policies and the border. We want to hear all sides. Lay it on us. Hashtag BTN11, Twitter and Facebook. Yep.